India, France and Japan building tough ties against China and the Indian and the Singapore Navy make a submarine rescue pact to help each other from Chinese attack. In the growing convergences between India, France and Japan, all three countries have strong backed the Indo-Pacific vision, which has increasingly gained cooperation within the democratic nations of the region and around the world. Indian Navy will rush in to help Singapore in case of a submarine disaster or emergency under the implementing agreement on submarine rescue support and cooperation signed between two countries on Wednesday this week. India and Singapore have signed the agreement as part of the enhancing defense cooperation. On the other side, the Indian Navy now having the capability to rescue submarines that are in distress or unable to come to the surface will press into action its Deep Sea Submergence Rescue Vehicle or the DSRV if such situation arises for the Singapore Navy. The agreement is part of enhancing India's military diplomacy in the region and extends its outreach, said an official. India had acquired two DSRVs in 2018, but till then it had an agreement with the United States for such emergencies. Calling France as an Indo-Pacific power due to its territories in the region, French envoy Emmanuel Lannan said, We are building piece by piece a strategic triangle between Paris, Tokyo and Delhi, committed to its rule-based Indo-Pacific order. France has its territories in Pacific Ocean and Southern Indian Ocean. It also has a 8,000 military personnel base in the region. Japanese envoy Satoshi Suzuki, who was also present in the trilateral event, highlighted his country's unwavering commitment to the vision, pointing out that the free and the open Indo-Pacific vision has been the core diplomatic concept that Japan stands on. At the Defense Minister's dialogue held through the video conference, Indian and the Singaporean Defence Minister witnessed the signing of implementing the agreement on the submarine rescue support and cooperation between the two nations and the two navies in a joint statement said on Wednesday. The DSRB system consists of submarine rescue vessels, a remote operation vehicle, side scan sonar and associated equipment. The system can be rapidly mobilized by air or road to facilitate submarine rescue operations even at the distant locations. There are about 40 nations that operate submarines around the world, but only a few have any form of submarine rescue capabilities. The third generation Indian Navy submarine rescue capability can therefore be called upon to assist during a submarine contingencies of other navies in the Indian Ocean region, said the Indian Navy. The Defence Ministers of India also convey their full support towards their early conclusion of the agreement to facilitate the conduct of live firing and to establish a reciprocal arrangement for the cross sentence of the military courses. The ministers express pleasure on the two navies carrying out the exercise together. The Indian Navy and the Republic of Singapore Navy successfully conducted the 27th editions of Singapore-India Maritime Bilateral Exercise and also participated in the second edition of Singapore-India-Thailand Maritime Exercise both held in November of 2020. These exercises enhance the interoperability among the navies and underscores the shared responsibility of the countries to work together to keep the sea lines of communication open. While the Chinese Navy is showcasing its power with its J-15 jets, some Chinese experts speak highly and low of the twin-engine and superiority fighter J-15, produced by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation of China, J-15 is based on the incomplete prototype of Russian Shukai Su-33 carrier-based air superiority fighter acquired from the Ukraine. There are 20 to 30 flying shark fighter jets on board China's Soviet-style carrier. The experts have said that J-15 is capable but is likely to get slaughtered in the head-to-head -head confrontation with FA-18 of US. Among its disadvantages is the underpowered engine. So what do you think of India, France and Japan building a tough tie against China and India and Singapore Navy getting into a military pact? During a meeting of the Central Military Commission of China, 
Chinese President Xi Jinping ordered the PLA to be battle ready and increase alertness. On the side note, India is moving to sell its cruise missile Brahmos to Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. Chinese President Xi Jinping ordered the PLA to be battle ready and increase alertness. He urged the military to improve their real combat capability through the training and accelerate and building of the new combat forces and the training system to further liberate and develop its combat capability, according to the CGTN. However, India China getting ready battle in the borders, India is selling its prime jewel weapon, the Brahmos, to the Brazil. Brahmos formed from the names of India's Brahmaputra River and the Moscow of Russia is a supersonic cruise missile developed in the joint venture between the India's DRDO and Russian NPO. Brazil has been looking forward to buying the missile system to equip its under construction nuclear attack submarines. Seeing the success of Brahmos, which is currently the only effectively operational supersonic anti ship cruise missile in service, the country made its decision now. Following the India's app ban on Chinese apps, the Chinese companies have incurred a huge loss, with a projection of $6 billion just for one company, ByteDance. Besides, several Chinese companies have started to lay off their local workforces in India, a move which could be linked to New Delhi's decision to restrict the use of Chinese apps. Alibaba's subsidiary UC browser has already shut down its services in the country, leading to the job cuts in the Gurugram and the Mumbai office. While well, these are going on, initial talks between India and Brazil already have begun regarding the acquisition of the Brahmos missile system. The pandemic is believed to be have delayed that acquisition, according to the Financial Express. Even the South American nations such as Chile, Argentina, and Venezuela are eyeing Brahmos. A Brazilian official was quoted saying, because the existing fleet of the submarines will undergo mid-life refit as well as capability enhancements and these platforms can be a potential users for the Brahmos NG. Zhao Lijian, Beijing's foreign minister spokesperson said, for four times since June, India has imposed restrictions on smartphone apps with the Chinese backgrounds under the pretext of national security. As India tried to hit hard on the China, its military strategy is playing crucial for now for India. So what do you think of China is getting battle ready to fight against India in the India-China border and India is selling its crown jewel weapon promos to other countries?